A collaboration between MICIT and Protofab TT is creating possibilities for economic diversification, foreign exchange and environmentally sustainable benefits to Trinidad and Tobago. A portable device designed by local innovator Ansel Bagwadin, the Ion Hammer, regenerates used lead acid batteries at a commercially viable rate, optimizes waste and creates opportunities for small and medium-sized enterprises while mitigating climate change and environmental contamination. The multiple award-winning battery regeneration project was launched at the MICIT's Penal Technology Center on Thursday. Minister in the Ministry of Education, Dr. Lovell Francis, said the project has the potential to change Trinidad and Tobago from being a consumer nation. Produced elsewhere. And when they've run out because they are time bombed to die at a certain time, we buy more batteries. But if it is that we have a local invention, a local inventor, where you recycle batteries, so you add to their life. A typical car battery has a lifespan of about 18 months and then it gets disposed. But getting rid of used lead acid batteries isn't easy as the risk of environmental contamination is very real. It was revealed in 2017 during a public accounts enterprises committee examining the Solid Waste Management Limited that research by UE in 2014 had identified lead in the water courses surrounding the Guanapo landfill site. Chairman of MICIT, Professor Clement Imbert, said a database will be created through the project which will track the life of car batteries and help to ensure they are disposed of properly. Dumping lead in the environment. It will delay us because, again, when the batteries are dead. But hopefully, as part of this whole project, we'll create a database of, of, of batteries, even those that, because only about 35% of the batteries we can revive. Um, but that's a good start.